Hi guys! Hello! Are we live? I don't know if we are. Anyways, hi. How exciting is this? Wait, hold on, I gotta get my, my chat room and shit going. Oh, fuck. Let's see. Bada bing. We got that there. Uh, let's do disable preview. Bada bing. Let's go to the old stream manager. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Um, good morning, everyone. What is this? Get the fuck out of here. What? Uh, get the fuck out of here. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, you can get the fuck out of here. Um, cool, cool, cool. Whatever. Sweet. Um, okay. Let's see. Checking. Tech checking. That's weird. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, that's about it. What's up? Uh, Bitcoin's going up. That's nice. All right, I need to open up the chat room. Hold on a second. All right. Uh, all right. What are we doing today? Hold on, I need to set up my other chat room thingy. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. Which, I'm just waiting for people to get here. Because, I don't know. It's going to be a different stream for me. Because usually it's like, ew, get out of here. Usually it's like evening and I'm really fucking high off my ass. But right now, nah. You How do I get to my fucking chat there? Oh. <laughs> almost, almost destroyed my fucking thing. There's nobody here, but I'm here for you. That's, that's much better, actually. Xenon, let's just make this stream, like, about whatever. Oh, shit, here we go. Uh. Okay. Hi, guys. Um. Yeah, this is a daytime stream. Usually, I don't, I don't stream in the morning. Yeah, listen, it's gonna be a quick one. I might come back tonight. This is just going to be a quick one. This. Uh-oh. Uh, although, I don't know, man. I have this interesting thing started that I wanted to share. <laughs> All right, fine. Hold on a second. Let's just go. Big shout out from the UK, baby. What's happening? What's happening? I love a good quickie. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Here we are. So, this is gonna be an interesting stream because um, I don't know if you've been watching my, uh, my, uh, other streams. Hopefully you have not. Um, but over the last month, I've decided to phase Adderall out of my life after, I always say six years, but I, it's gotta be like seven, maybe seven years of, of, of that drug. So now basically I ended up, uh, drinking a little more coffee, but I worry about the quality of the streams. 
damn hard to focus. But overall, way more energy. That shit is not good for you. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. But I'm diagnosed ADHD. I don't just take that shit for fun. But I want to see if I can, you know. Okay, so uh, let's see. News. I got a new pair of shoes. That is something. I don't like the way my voice sounds right now. Let's change that. Gate. Let me get this gate operating properly. Check. There we go. That's better. I'm going to leave this up. Leave this up. Oh, no, wait. That's too much. Too much. I got to get the little mumbles, too. I mumble a lot. <laughs> All right. What's up? What's up? Eight, oh, fuck. 82 viewers. Are you fucking serious? This is a morning stream. What the fuck? All right. Today, we're going to use pitch map because... I forgot to do that last time, and pitch map is one of my favesies. Oh, um, and not this stream, but okay. So there was a lot of chat on the Discord server, and by the way, if you're not part of the Discord server, please join the Discord server. Um, I think uh, my my main guy, Steve. Where, where, Steve, where the fuck are you? I don't know if there he is. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was like, "Wait, I, th I thought we were just talking." Anyways, me and uh, Steve had a great idea the other day to do a feedback Zoom, which we're gonna do on Friday. And he built a whole system of like submissions, and you know, so so I we already have probably enough songs for it, um, but it's basically gonna be um, kind of a limited Zoom session of like twenty. 30, 40, 50, 20, 3 people. Uh, and we're going to listen to some music and I'm going to give feedback because I'm flattered that you care what I think. But I feel like after we do this a couple times, people are going to stop sending me music because who cares what I think? And also, I think I'm generally like, like imagine, well, no, not true. I was going to say like I hate on my own shit so much that you know, I, I usually just hate other people's music, too. But I won't be a hater. All right. God damn it. Anyways. Okay, okay. And I was going to say, not this stream, but there is going to be a stream where there was a lot of talk on the Discord server about, like, industry stories and people getting screwed over and stuff. And uh, I wanted to address, like... <laughs> how fucking normal that can be for people coming up and like how it happens to everyone but and it's not right or anything obviously it's wrong but like i want to and i'm gonna do this in the next stream because i think it's a way bigger subject but the theme of it's going to be don't fight over crumbs you know like pick your battles because sometimes <sighs> sometimes the industry is fucked but most of the time, anyone that tr that like, treats you like crap in the industry, they don't last long because this shit's small, and word gets around. So that's for the next stream. This stream, though, we're gonna play around. Ah. Nobody can hate what I make more than me. That's Tommy. That's the that that is trademark Tommy. Nobody can hate what I make more than me. So that's partially why I'm immune to negative critique at this point. I've separated myself so much from it. Ah, uh, lose the battle, win the war. Exactly. Exactly. Whoa, what's all these people in the chat room all fucking smart and shit? I'm gonna write that down. What was it? <laughs> See, I can't remember shit. Lose the battle, win the war. I'm writing that down, um, Iggy. Lose the battle, win the war. Iggy. Wait, what's your what's the full name? Iggy one, Iggy two. Iggy one, Iggy two. Iggy two. That should be the title of the next stream because that shit's fly. You get 10% pub of the stream. How do you get publishing on a stream? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking what? All right. Love your new song with Zara. Oh, yeah. Falling for a friend. That shit's sick. 
What's up? What's up, Leon? Mm. Um. Okay. So I was gonna do this last night, but I had to work. But then, when it got really late and I was really stony, I started this idea that I really like. So I'm gonna show you how I started it because it's really fun. <laughs> Of course, you know your boy doesn't play chords very well, so Scalar is involved. Some preset, so long... Oh! I hit escape. Some preset called So Long Nita. Change the word, get a third. <laughs> I remember that phrase, that was one of my faves. What a great sound, huh? This could be Bruno Mars style. Oh my God, can we talk about, can we talk about leave the door open? Can we talk about new Bruno Mars jam? Holy shit. Can we take a moment of silence for all the other songs? Can we take a moment of silence for all the other songs on New Music Friday? I'ma leave the door open now. I'ma leave the door open. You notice on the thing, he goes, I'm going to leave the door open, hoping that you feel the way. Bruno and Anderson Pack, obviously, such a genius. So, yeah, anyways, I was sitting here last night being a little stoner. And I started messing with this really fun little progression. This progression is kind of housey. Um... Oh, and also, I was going to mention that I am going to do a thing. Oh, i got to write this down. I am going to do Falling for a Friend, the session, session breakdown, um, probably Friday night. Because that's going to, no, after the fucking, uh, the feedback thing is only, that's going to be around like, what is it, D6, 37? Um, and then after that, I'm going to do the session breakdown Friday after, uh, feedback. Okay. These are my things I need to write down today. List of things that I need to write down today. List of things I need to write down today. All right. Anyways. So. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I remember all this shit. Oh. That's it. You ready? I forgot what I fucking played, but it was fun. There it is. He saved it. Hey, if you're at work right now, fuck this stream, okay? It'll be on YouTube. You don't have to watch this bullshit, man. Th this is... I'm telling you, man. It's not a normal time for me. But you know what? It's a challenge. Because usually, you know how like, you're more creative at night? I mean, at least I am. Sometimes people are more creative in the morning. For me, it's, I'm more creative at night. So, and like, also, that's pretty neat. I don't know. Also, it goes, comes and comes and goes in waves. You know, the whole like my confidence when it comes to creating. So. <laughs> Okay, so I tracked that in, and then I, so I'm just taking you through, like, the shit that I did last night in my, like, overly stoned thing right before I went to bed. Then I, uh, printed the synth and made this. 
This is just the print of the synth. No, no effects or anything. Although, I want to see if Cubase crashes. So I just upgraded to... Ooh, let's save. I just upgraded to Big Sur. Which a lot of people said I shouldn't have done. But I did it because... I don't know, man. So, oh yeah, I read a forum post that Cubase was running really good in Big Sur. And it does. But, like, the mouse scroll shit is different. And... It's kind of disturbing, a little bit. Let's see if uh, Space Modulator crashes my shit. Nope. Because I updated. Anyways. So, then we got this loop here. I just want to catch you up. I just want to catch you up. So, we got this loop here. But I chopped this thing up. Oh, fuck, I chopped it up. M.M. Benji... Hold on, I'll, I'll show you the original loop so you can see. M.M. Benji Perk. There you are. Right, but I cut it. I cut it a little bit. Actually, I, I put it like to... Here, I'll show you. Check it out. So... The, the the tempo of the loop, this is kind of fun actually. The tempo of the loop didn't really work like, you know, I put I put into loop mode and it was Right? I was like, ah fuck that. But oops, I'm recording. But then when I put it in normal mode, it kinda of sounded like it was doing the dotted eighth note, you know? And I was like, oh that kind of fly. So I chopped it into You know what I mean? How do you ever not chop a loop? I know, right? You tell me. I think it's a pride thing. Like, I think I have a fucked up pride thing about like, I can't just use a splice loop. I gotta do something with it so I can call it mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. Big question. I have a mindset question for you, but I come from a finance background and I feel like whenever I sit down to produce, I want to make something good out of it and sometimes get discouraged when I'm just fucking around and the idea is how to change that mindset, just to be able to sit down and play with no expectations. Yes. Well, I think I do. Dash, dash, Ymir. Um, don't think of, uh, you can, you can try, f f uh, like, if I don't get something good out of a session, as and, and by session, I mean me sitting down at the computer and trying to, like, fuck around, I think of it like stretching, like I'm exercising, you know? Keeping my, keeping my, my game up. <laughs> uh, like I'm practicing, yeah, rehearsing. <laughs> it's like, think of it all, like, leading to something. Like, don't think of, like, that one time you sat down. Think of the last five times you sat down. And that fifth time maybe might be the thing, or it might be the sixth time. Or, you know what, maybe you won't know which time is which until you look back retrospectively and be like, oh, yeah. But this eventually led me to this. So don't think of the time you, just, you sit down as isolated uh, attempts, attempts at creating something good. Think of it like you're either creating, you're either going to create something good or you're going to get closer to it. You know, <laughs> whether that's by creating something sort of good or creating something so bad that you're like, I got to try again. Same result or same. It doesn't change the meaning. All right. Uh, a lot of people tuned out. Only have 150 viewers now. That makes me feel better because <laughs> still a lot of people. All right. Anyways. So we have this really cool loop. Anyways, spiff. You got to put spiff on it. Delta mode, right? And all of a sudden we got, I mean, that is so cool. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, okay. So then, and then I was like this when I was like really stunned. I was like, <laughs> this is fucking sick, dude. I should have fucking live streamed. Anyways, I found this, uh, 
this loop, which is so fun over the uh, little Sega. Now, I thought I had a beat, but I guess I didn't. I guess we're gonna have to do that. Anyways, so then, now we have all that fun shit. Oh yeah, it's the fucking Grammys this weekend. Shit. I'm not gonna think about it. All right. <clears throat> God, pang of anxiety hit me. Okay, so check it out. Now to the really, the really good stuff. The really fun shit. And like, I got, I got to a certain point, but I was like, man, I'm gonna do this on the stream tomorrow because this shit is fucking fun. So we have our favorite pitch map. And I just updated it too to 1.7, I believe. Um, oh wait, that's just, whoops. Uh, anyways. <laughs> um, 1.7 works with Big Sur without any glitches, so that's nice. But, the uh, I want to show you some really cool shit that PitchMap did to this weird ass, uh, let's see, OS, FIDM. Oh wait, I'll just put it not on the PitchMap track. I'll show you the original and then I want to show you what PitchMap did to it because it's fucking crazy. So here's the original. I'm just gonna put the put a loop with it so you can understand the tempo still. This doesn't go with our song at all. That's a, that's that's piano of the MIDI of this chord progression that we were just listening to. Or no, it's slightly it's slightly different. So, anyways. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna contort this piano loop with pitch map into this progression here that you're hearing, which is like a, I guess a B part maybe. <laughs> Let's see what pitch map does. That's on what preset? What does strict do? One of these crashes my computer. Let's find out which one. I think it's synth like. Watch my CPU. <laughs> Gone. Well, it's because. What's my buffer at? fucking Mac Pro piece of shit. Come on now. Come on. Alright. Um. Hi guys. I'm glad you made it. To, I'm glad, you know, there's so many new people on the stream. This is so great. Why, why are you guys here? <laughs> Anyways, so I was playing around the pitch map, right? And I put that loop in there. Oh, I'm gonna do that thing I learned. Hold on a second, I learned how to do something. No, how do I do it? How do I do it? Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. I am learning how to do things. Oh, I don't know how to turn fucking... How do I... Do not disturb. Uh, always nice. Okay, now I don't have em embarrassing calendar events coming up like colonoscopy in three hours. All right, so oh, damn man, everybody fucking everybody texting me at the same fucking yo. Anybody, anybody ever get texts at the same time from everyone? Is that weird? Anyway, so I put this other loop in there. Listen to this shit. What? What is pitch map gonna do that? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Barely anything? Okay, this one was better. So we're going to fuck with this. But there was something else that I did last night that I really liked. <sighs> Should I open that one? No, I kind of want to still, I kind of want to fuck with pitch map more. Um, all right. Okay. Wait, which? All right, let's just, let's just keep fucking doing shit. Boom, 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 boom. So the mouse is different in, in Big Sur or Cubase 11. I don't know what it is, but it's like different by a little bit and it's fucking up all my scrolling and my editing and everything. It's like the most minute change. They were just like, let's just fuck them up a little bit. You know that kind of thing that like slows the mouse down when it hovers over a text box or something? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm not crazy. I might be crazy. All right, I need to create a group so we can duck the fuck out of some of this shit. You, uh, fuck was that noise? Yo, shit is weird today. There was a buzzing sound earlier. Oh, trash guy. Okay. Okay. Oh, some kid trying to get in my gate and trying to give me a demo. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Um, bada bing, bada submit a track, bada bing, group all of you to, uh, turd, turducken. Is that the thing where they put a chicken inside a turkey? Turd, turducken? Something like that? Fucking Americans, man. Bunch of weirdos. What should we do? XO? Should we fuck with XO or... Or go really clean? XO or really clean? Um, what the fuck is... What is that weird clicking? Oh, I remember what it is. Hold on. Maybe it's dust. Chicken inside a duck inside a turkey. Oh, shit. The inception of Thanksgiving. This is nasty. How do you get all the bones out and shit? I don't know, man. Fuck that shit. That's pretty neat. I disagree. Um, contact's gonna be our side chain. Contact 01? No. Contact 02, you cunt. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Bada bing. Man, life is so different without Adderall. In a good way and in a bad way. Side chain. Okay. Now, let me load a little, uh, my favorite little, uh, where is it? My favorite little kick. Clean kick. Oh, self-made, self-made. Right. As in samples I made myself. Contact. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's take our velocity down to nothing. Oh, yo, I fucking remember. Okay. 
I remember what I did now. I remember what I did now. Okay. <laughs> Notice this project is called Fun Fun Fun. So last night I went a certain distance and then I was like, I really want to do this on the stream tomorrow, so I'm going to stop. So what did I do? I did a save as, but then there's... Oh no, wait. Was it this one? No, I can't play that one. <laughs> oh shit, never mind. Okay, so there's another one. Well, all right, next stream, next stream, next stream, next stream. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, and I want to grab one file from it though. Come here, you. Don't activate. Oh my God, this one was so much fun. I'm kind of, I kind of want to steal percussion from this one. And also this Oliver loop was sick. Okay. Well, let's just see what happens when we bring these bad boys in here. <laughs> you don't need to convert anything. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm starting to remember things. Okay. Just wanna see what this sounds like, okay? So, here's here's where it's going to get Here's where it's going to get fun. Okay. We're going to we're going to put this Oliver Kick snare loop which I darkened. But I'm running it through the group, right, that is is uh getting ducked by this kick. Does the snare sound doubled? Does it? I mean, there's a little clap in front of it. Just for fun, I'll get rid of that with, with LFR tool. The lead clap. Obviously, we'll lose our doom kick too, but... I'm still hearing a little bit of it. There we go. So now, anyway, since this loop is going through, um, check the feed audio. Wait. There's there's a problem with the audio. Hold on, I gotta I gotta let me check the player. There's there's a problem with the audio. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta let me check the player. Hold. There's there's a problem with the audio. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta let me check the player. Oh yeah, that is weird. Why is that happening? Hold. There's there's a problem with the audio. Hold on, I gotta. I gotta. I've never had what. Wait, I think I know what might be causing it. Hold. Hold, 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 hold. No, that can be the reason. Something is... What the fuck? I need to figure this out. I know, I hear it too on the fucking replay. It has some, probably has to have something to do with loopback. Hold on. Hold 
I'm probably sending like a double. Wait, I don't want to disable it. Cancel. Did I just loot? See, it's probably. No. Um. Loop back update needed. Fuck me. All right. Well, shit. I figure out. I have to figure out why this is happening. Um, this is embarrassing. Check it out. Look what I got. Okay. All right. I gotta come back. I'll be back in a moment because we gotta fix this issue. Be right back. Well, well, fucking. Well, well, oh. fucking <laughs> well. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, hold on. Actually, well. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the sound on because I want to check if it's doing the fucking bullshit again. I'm gonna leave the sound on because I want to check if it's doing the fucking bullshit again. I'm gonna leave the sound on because I want to check if it's doing the fucking. No way, it's still there. Fuck you, Matthew. It's not still there. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Is it flammy? No, it's not, right? I'll tell you why. It was cuz loopback. Um so I'm running I'm running stuff through yeah, my stringy. my Zulu, which is this weird thing on my desk right here, right? Um and loopback and that makes it run through a different channel in my uh, console. This is a story you didn't ask for, by the way. Anyways, it was routing one and two. This was also connected. So, I'm guessing that's what the issue was. And then it took me forever to fucking... Like, you can... In loopback, you can, like, obviously drag connections. But you can't... You can't undrag them. <laughs> it's like... I don't know why that took me forever. You have to like click the line and then hit delete here. It's like, dude, fuck you, loop back. <laughs> like, is there a reason for that? Okay. I can't hear shit. Well, who wants what with it? That might be your own volume. See, I don't care about command backspace. Thanks, I'll do that. Oh, hold on. Dua Lipa sent me a message. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, I'm busy right now, Dua. I can't talk, okay? Um. Whatever, Charlie. Whatever. All right, anyways. What are we doing? Wait a minute. Let's uh, make this t this kick even tighter. This is contact for all you children who don't know what a sampler is. <laughs> I, like one time on the stream got <laughs> made fun of for using contact and I've been so defensive about it ever since. <laughs> Wait, no click, bro. No click. Yeah, ew. What? I gotta do things myself? What? Ew. What? More control? Ew. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Contact's great, man. I love contact. It's really easy and fun.
Yo, fucking Big Sur with this mouse shit! It's bugging the- all- all my scrolling is all- Jesus. It's all messed up. Cubase. Fix it. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> um, my session got canceled, so. I, I kind of think I really like this. I don't know why, but. Oh, you know, I know why. It's because it sounds rich. I like rich sounding shit, man. But you know what? I want to print the pitch map shit because I want to. I want to start getting some more weird shit out of pitch map. Let us fuck about. So right now I'm running pitch map through this weird loop. But let's find some other weird loops. And I'll run the piano parallel to it so we can hear like how it's contorting the loop. What about like I want to find like a chord loop. Cause I want pitch map to do its thing. And give me some weirdness. See like what what would I don't know. Let's see. Uh, not very interesting. But... Oh, that's gonna be fucking weird. I forgot what key we're in. I don't even know what key we're in, but. So I'm gonna trans. Okay, hey, you can't really see this, but there's a little. Oh my god, the scroll wheel. I'm going to transpose a sample that I'm dragging into pitch map to make it closer to the key. I think we were in G, so I'm going to transpose it up. Nope. Too weird. Oh yeah, get out of here. Let's find some- oh, a guitar. Let's get a guitar loop. Get... Something weird like this would be fucking weird. my attention what stop talking about the grim heels track formers game is about to start what game wait a minute screen going black what the fuck you talking about yo if i'm having more technical difficulties i'm just i'm just stopping this shit man it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be then you know, I hope you're doing great. What do you think about Jason Evigan posting on IG about the publishing stuff as producer? I don't know what he posted. I didn't look. But I'll check that out. Whatever it is, I'm sure I agree with it. It's fucking Evigan. I love that guy. Um, for real, oh, for real though, I got a question. What do you think the current or next... What the fuck is that sound?! Sorry, I'm going crazy. What do you think is the next style sound in, is in pop? Oh, do you ever think about it when you're making a song for an artist that has a radio potential? Kind of like do it with disco. Um, you know, I wish I could tell you it's more planned out static, but it's not. And I think I've told this, this story before. I'll make it really quick because this stream has just been shit so far so hopefully we can salvage it with a little bit of a q a or something because i think i'll just come back tonight i i here's the, here's the thing about waves and pop music and stuff there was a week i spent oh funny enough with evigan and a few more writers and we were all wondering that question this is like a long maybe four years ago and we were 
we spent like four or five days and didn't get shit. And we were all just like, man, what is the next thing? Like maybe it's the nineties or maybe it's blah, blah, blah. And then Gian, uh, who was Jason's assistant at the time was like, that's so funny to hear you guys talking about that because I feel like you guys set the trends at which was like a very flattering thing to say, obviously, which, I, you know, maybe he, he thought we were like, I don't know. Like maybe he thought about us like we should have thought about ourselves. Like, yeah, you know what? Let's. I'm so distractible. What is that? You hear the sound? It's it's fucking weird, right? Now it's gonna go away until I get really and when I start concentrating, it starts. Whatever. Anyways, so like instead of thinking like what's the next thing, like be like you know what's what could I do that could be the next thing, you know. Maybe you have an opportunity to change because pop just means popular, you know? It's like whatever. <sighs> I don't know. As long as you don't sound like you're trying to do something, you know? And, 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 and like, I feel like you can get clues from like your surroundings and like popular culture and the, you know, the zeitgeist. You can like, like, I don't know if, I mean, like, I don't know. There's, you know, it's actually weird. There's a little bit of 80s right now. Like, I was going to say, I don't know if 80s is the vibe, but then look at the, the Weekends record. Like, very 80s. Uh, do as physical. Like, there's so many different... It's all a fucking melting pot, which is both great and terrifying because it's great because you could do anything, and it's terrifying because you can do anything. So, anyways. What do you think about SoundCloud, new fan power, royalties methods? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. You can discover how dumb I am. I've been in a hole the last two weeks of just war. My head's down. I've been working so much. Ian, how to get started work from LA. What's the best way to go about it for someone who's been professionally producing since last I don't want to game in a new market. Boy, I grew up here, so I have no advice for that. Um, but unfortunately, LA is like kind of where you have to go. If you want to do sessions... But then again, people have been doing that shit on Zoom and having a good time. Not me, because I fucking suck. On Zoom. Anyways. Ian, how do you exist? I don't know. That's a weird one. I, I kind of just woke up one day. 38 years ago. It was weird. Who's your favorite pop producer out there? Probably Ricky Reed. We work together... What's your opinion on Ilya? I love Ilya. He's awesome. Um, who wants what with it? Coming with the real questions. How's your day been in mental health? Terrible. Terrible. Everything is everything's great, but I'm definitely. I thought at three weeks out, I would still I would be uh, not feeling the Adderall withdrawals, but I, I'm still feeling them. But then again, you got to consider the fact that I was taking it for six. I got to start saying seven because it it really is seven years. I was taking it for seven years, so. Ian, what subgenres have you been very into over the years? Um, I don't know. I listen to everything for real. Um, if a tree that falls down in the forest doesn't make sound, yes. Why'd you stop taking Adderall? Because it's, um, I mean, because I wanted to see what my body would do without like amphetamines in it every day <laughs> um it was a personal decision like i was gonna be like you know can i can i do life and what i do without this drug so we'll see how it we'll see we'll see if i last favorite ariana grande track um what are the long-term drawbacks of adderall I don't know. That's what scares me. Hi, Ian. You should do a contest of a kind, and the price would be a day in your studio working on one of our own songs. Nah, man. Can't. How do you structure your days? Good question. Adderall isn't good for you? Yeah, it's not. Definitely. Um, a monthly course. Stubborn Clinker. <laughs> That's a great name. Um, That's... 
it's hard. Honestly, it's hard. I'm I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be, believe it or not, scheduling. I know I've said this multiple times, but I'm gonna be scheduling my streams, so it's gonna be more reliable. But like last night, I was gonna stream, but I had to do stems like last minute for something that I had forgotten to do before, <laughs> and like it just, I couldn't. Like I'm, I'm sometimes I'm busy, but I'm gonna be at least streaming regularly. But like a monthly class, like if I if I. If I ever did a class, I think it would be less based on actual techniques and more like the the thinking behind it, you know? Like it would be like a series. Like maybe I'd do like three videos or, you know, on why decisions are made. I think that's the more important stuff that I want people to take away from watching my videos. Because like I just fuck around for, you know, hours with loops and, and stuff. And these streams are more just like e exploring techniques and stuff because obviously I'm not legally allowed to stream songs that I'm working on with artists until they're, you know, out. So it's not like I could stream me working on the Zara song when I don't even know if A, if it's on the record or B, uh, like <laughs> if it's on the record. So if it's on the record, obviously I can't stream it. Anyways, um, I digress. Um... All right, do you ever listen to the self-promote section in Discord? Every now and then. Do you listen to stuff from PC Music? Yes, and do you know who I just worked with? Literally, Tuesday. Don't freak out. I was with Charlie XEX, but obviously don't freak out for that, but I was with AG Cook. She brought AG Cook. Who I'm a huge fan of, and he was awesome, and we had a great How time. Use that? Um, so I'm mystified by PC hyperpop music, the bedroom pop shit, like the hundred gex shit. I'm mystified by it. It's like, it's 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 kind of like, How do you use that? it's confusing, but it's also just really, it's so interesting and it stretches my brain in such a way that I'm like, oh, I get all inspired, and it's so. ADHD and fucking like all over the place and just so creative. It's like raw creative. I love that. I love that because I just love that. Ian is too old for hyper pop. That is a wholesome chat room. Um, not me watching this and doing my assignment doing 12 hours. <laughs> Char, what are you doing, bro? Or girl? Charmed Gleek. What's a Gleek? Oh my god, what if that's something bad and I don't know and I just said it? <laughs> All right. Ian, do you as a producer sleep enough hours? Yes. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Yes, now. But yeah, before. Um, I used to not sleep enough. Ian, how often do you mix records you produce? Like, never nowadays. Um... Oh, nice. All right. Uh, Ian, do I, why don't you thank me for subscribing? Um, I mean, that's for the next stream, Galaxy. I'll thank you on the next... Hold on. Hold on, guys. What's it, What's the name? Galaxy 422. Thanks. Galaxy 422. All right. The next stream is dedicated to you. No, it's okay. Yashar, it's okay, man. People can be ageist. That's all right. People can be dicks. He's not a goat. He's a human. Thank you. My mic is fucked. It's probably a cable. Right? Listen. It's a mixture of the cable and the gate. It's probably the gate. I'm gonna turn the gate off. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. There. There. <laughs> okay. I kind of like it though. It's so nice. All right. Let's do some more questions because this is getting really fun. Even though, wait, what time is it? Fuck. Okay. Fifth. Uh, you can do. We can do like. Let's, do you make your own? Why are all of these youngins calling Ian a goat? <laughs> I know, right?
It's so loud. No, it's not. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. ADHD, man. It's all over the place. Um, how many songs you finish in a year and how many get cut? Oh, fuck. Uh, not many. Not many at all. Um, like, what do I have this year? I think I have, like, two releases this year. Yeah. Or maybe I'm forgetting some, about a, a couple... But nothing, uh, no, I've, I've been, I've had my head down just working, focusing on some projects that are taking a while. <sighs> Who's your favorite song or writer to work with? Oh my God, there's a million, bro. I can't tell you. And when is the next stream, you slacker? Fuck off. <laughs> it's, it's probably tonight. I'm honestly, I'm going to come back tonight. Um, or if it's not tonight, then Friday. I'll, I'm gonna do the feedback thing Friday, and then I'm gonna stream a session. I might stream the breakdown for "Falling for a Friend," the Zara song. After that, thank you, Galaxy, for accepting my apology. Oh fuck! I need to read about NFTs. I'm so behind on this shit. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it yet. You know, like it didn't click with me. Um. Ian, earlier in the Q&A, you always said you print your reverbs. At what stage of the production does that usually happen? I try to do that as early as possible, man, because it, 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 a reverb is something that, like, you'll get used to. Um, but also, like, I just don't, I don't like the idea of not being able to control the tails of my reverbs. Like, I don't want reverb all over the place, you know? I want it, like... Where is, hold on, there is a file. Wait, can I, can't even fucking play that. Damn it. Okay, never mind. I was going to play you something, but I'm going to get in trouble if I do. Okay. Um, if you could spend one day doing no music and you can do anything you want, what would you do? Jeez, such a good question. Um, I'd probably eat pizza Oh, pizza all day, maybe, or go for like a really nice hike. I don't know. Um, if you could do anything, hot air balloon ride? No, fuck that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. You know, I've checked out the track. Oh, <gasps> Jimmy. Oh my god. Jimmy. Jimmy. Hold on. I should take that off screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Let's take a gander at that. Oh fuck! I no. I'm gonna. Uh, I got some time. I got some time. I got some time. What do we do? Oh yeah. <laughs> our copro, Jimmy. I haven't done anything on our copro. Oh my gosh! What the fuck was this, man? <laughs> Wait. You know what else? Hold on. Let me. Hold on. I gotta. I don't know why I always move my finder off screen like something embarrassing is going to be there. <laughs> but it's like there's nothing. Maybe a song name or two that shouldn't be out there. Um, I was going to look for... Okay, on the... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, there, the, the beat that we worked on on the last stream... That was... Hold on. There's Jimmy. Was it whatever high guy what's this guy whatever high guy is this something I can play or not let's find out this looks complicated though loading um okay I'll get I'll get back to questions in a second sorry I just want to go off on this tangent right now because you know no Adderall and all <sighs> what the fuck is this? Oh yeah, baby. Who remembers this one? Who remembers this shit? This shit. Oh man, this one's gonna be fun. Cause... Oh, yeah. 
yeah, can't play that part for sure. Okay, we'll get out of here. That one started on a stream, and it might be going somewhere. Um, all right, back to the questions. Average time for me to finish track? Depends. Could be months, could be a couple days. All right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Uh, have you ever had a break since producing music? I don't really have much of a life, so no. Um, blah, blah, blah. Are you very hands-on with lyrics and melodies during sessions? Yes. As much as I can be. Sometimes, though, I don't need to be, and I can just focus on the production. Or it's better, if not, not like I don't need to be like, they don't need my skills. It's more like they don't need me fucking up the song. <laughs> so depends on who it's with. How the f... That's not a question. <laughs> um, does anyone know if FFF started on the stream? No, it did not. Pretty sure it didn't. That was... No, you know what? It couldn't have because it was written before quarantine. And I only started live streaming after. Um, how do you deal with anxiety when working with big artists? <sighs> I mean, um, I used to just not, I would just have it and deal with it until I didn't. My first produced song, um, it was for my friend Jonathan in junior high. Okay. Ian has to be one of the hardest working people I've seen. I don't know, man. I don't know about that, but thank you. Where do you discover new music? Um, Spotify, honestly. Or my friends telling me, telling me shit. Um, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Weird text. All right, shit. All right, so I'm going to probably come back tonight. What did your first number exclamation point feel like? Um, oh, my first number one, my first number one felt like a, a relief because, um, because it was, I knew at least it was possible. Um, yes. Oh, you're right. I have been, well, I've been pretty terrible at corresponding, but I have talked to Andy, Andy Lewis, that dude from the end of the last stream who had that insane song. Um, Do you still practice your instruments or learn to play new songs? I don't. I, I think I work enough to where I can maintain. Do you prefer writing alone or with someone? Definitely with someone. Because writing alone, I have no gauge for what's good. Do you have any advice on vocal pronunciation? Ooh, this is a good question. Vocal pronunciation and how you can say fi, fi instead of fire and not pronounce the R. I want to be good in vocal production. Um... Josh, I don't have like a specific guideline, but I, I think I have a generalization about vocal production that I personally believe is the easiest way to pick a take or something, you know, um, just base it on uh, believability, whether you believe it or not, if it sounds honest, like to be honest, sometimes when I hear you know, these like Hollywood fuckboy rappers doing the like, a girl dance and a man went and a guinea and a man. It's just like, shut the fuck up, dude. Shut up. You don't talk like that. Like, shut the fuck up. But then sometimes, like, for some, like, for some reason, like, not even that, like, like Post Malone is in obviously amazing, but like, he kind of will speak like that, but I believe it. It's, it's his delivery, you know? It's like the way he... So basically, like, when you're listening, like, if it sounds, like, dishonest, or if, it's, if you just don't buy it, yet let that guide your decision. I guess that's my point. Like, I can hear when... I, I have a good uh, d detection process now for detecting, like, fuckery. <laughs> or just, like, in, in, ingen ingenuity... Not ingenuity. Disingenuity. Disingenuity. Fucking Ian, 
someone being disingenuous, like when they're trying to sound cool. I can detect that. And I think that most listeners, subconscious or consciously, can detect that too and will either go, Psh, poser, or they'll be like, oh, wow, you know, honesty. <sighs> oh, levels break down at some point. So yesterday I looked for the level session and I couldn't find it. <laughs> So it's on a it's on a hard drive somewhere. And if I find it and I load it and it still sounds decent, yes. But I definitely want to do that one. But also the um that was a co-pro too. So I don't even know whether the monsters and strangers or myself had the last session. I'm pretty sure Steph from the Monsters had the session last before it was delivered to mix. So it might not be the exact song, but it'll be the gist of it. So I'll find it and we'll do a stream about it because I love that song. Um, that was not a dumb question, track formers. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Why rent? Why aren't you named He Man Kirkpatrick? <laughs> I hate you for that one. Do you ever find it inconvenient to use Cubase while so much of the world uses Pro Tools? Does it look like I give a fuck what the world is using? JK, yeah, sometimes kind of annoying, but it's okay. You can work through it. Stems, man, stems. I give my, like, powerful answer, and then I give a bullshit answer. Or I give, I give a bullshit answer that sounds cool, but then I, like, give the real answer. Try to look tough. So that way I can, like, make a compilation on YouTube where I'm, like, a badass of those answers and then I can be like, you know, the diplomatic version. Another edit. You know, neon trees breakdown, that would be fun if I could find the hard drive that had the stuff. All right, uh do you have your old school projects still? Um that just made me think of something. You know it'd be really interesting. Hold on. I want to see if I can find, um, like, old, old, old MP3s of the shit I was doing in college. Nope, can't find it. <laughs> no, uh, I do have a, it's somewhere, but it'd be interesting to play you guys, like, the shit I was doing when I was... Fuck. 17, maybe. 18? Yeah. Fuck. How would I find that stuff? Where did I put that stuff? It's somewhere online, but I don't know if it's in Dropbox or... I'm gonna find that shit. Anyways. Sorry. Um... Dua Lula asks, what cost Angel to replace Dua? She didn't replace Dua. There was never a second verse. It hadn't been finished written. And I don't know who made all those decisions. That, that happened on like Dua's team and with Angel's team. And then it was just like, yo, this girl's hopping on Fever. And we're like, Fever's going to come out. Hell yeah. And uh, her producer, Tristan, did the vocals in On Paris and then sent me the vocals. It's fucking awesome. Um, okay. Um, Mark Turley asks, how do you suggest going about finding your own sound? Um, well, it, you could think of it like you probably, well, like I know I had a, a pretty eclectic music upbringing in the things I listened to from like NWA to the Aphex Twin and to, you know, Chemical Brothers to like Blink-182 and shit and Obviously, I, I, you know, fell in love with Daft Punk and, you know, all those influences are what I think my subconscious uses whenever I'm making decisions. So it's like, you can go, you can think about it that way, like just using little bits of all the things you love. And then hopefully that is something unique. Because, you know, if you just love one genre of music, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to produce different genres, right? Does that make any sense? Um, yeah, new rules breakdown is coming. Options on 
opinions on drill, drill beats. I don't know what that is. Um, should ever look at look at her now breakdown. <laughs> I think I I thought it I did one, but I don't know if I did it on Instagram. Um, I could do that one again if people wanted. That one's fun. I think I did that one, yeah. But the question is whether I did it on my current setup or not, because um the current setup is a little bit better clearer better resolution stuff i guess if there's any um how difficult was it coping with tough times and heavy memory of an instance that made you so strong you started believing in yourself again holy shit kind of movie ass question is that um how difficult is it coping with tough times i mean fuck man uh to have memory of an instance that made you so strong. You know. I don't think I have any transformative moments. I think they're all like a very slow transformation of or it's like there's no Eurekas. It's all just like uh like my career has been very like slow, slow, just a little bit more each year and you know, stay the course kind of shit, like, and with that really slow process came so much fucking failure, failure that I was just like, um, and, and this is where it stops being advice and becomes a tale of caution. There was so much failure that I got so good at failing that I don't think I enjoy things as much as I should, the successes, because I'm so used to shit not working out. Like, I will just, I will, I'm so, like, I have to be so detached from the music sometimes because if I'm not, I get too emotionally invested. So, like, <laughs> I, like, dealt with tough times by kind of just getting used to it, you know, and, and, and being like, these are my parameters I have to exist within. And uh, if if I'm not getting, if this is not working out, if this music shit isn't working out, there's a reason and I got to figure it out. And, uh, you know, I got, I would listen to music and compare it to my music and be like, wow, it sounds so, my music sounds so shit compared to it and then figure out why. And, you know, it was, I think I was, I think I was kept, um, like inspired by the fact that I was just, just the fact that I was realizing I had more to, I had, you know, more to do and more to, to learn. And like, I still feel like that. So I've kind of, I don't know. I might've gotten too used to failure to where I don't enjoy the wins, but like failing is like a part of winning. So it's so, it's like, I don't know if anyone saw the beginning of the stream, but where I was asked about like, how do you, you know, sit down at a desk and do something. And if it doesn't come out good, like how do you deal with that? Like not getting anything. And it's more about like, you know, losing the battle, but winning the war kind of shit, like people were saying in the chat room. So like, uh, you know, you just have to like, like, you know, failing a bunch is part of, is, is, is going to be part of when you finally do win. So it's all a process, terrible conclusion, but that's all I can say about that. Um, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> do a Lula. <laughs> Probably shouldn't mention, but the new rule stems leaked in case you didn't know. But listen at your own risk so I don't get in trouble. Bless your heart, Dula, Lula. I'm I, fully aware. Don't you, don't you let your heart be troubled. I love that the stems leaked. I love that. I can't leak them for legal reasons, but I, I, if any stems of my projects leak, more, please use them, abuse them. And if you think you can learn for something from them, fuck yeah, go for it, man. But I'm not allowed, cause I don't own the master, you know? I'm just a, a part of the machine, man. I'm part of the fucking machine. All right. How do those stems leak? I'm pretty sure somewhere in the process of all the emails of like finally finishing things and, you know, maybe, uh, files getting left on a computer that has like someone some kid in the studio has access to i have no idea people's in drop boxes get hacked what 
time is it? Ooh, should have stopped five minutes ago. You ever limit yourself in music making? Very interesting question. Yes. Sometimes you have to limit yourself to, I mean, the burden of choice is like a common problem with music production now. I mean, with rent to own plugins and shit, it's like we all have the same arsenal now. So you're just presented with infinity every time you sit down. I have 400 gigs of samples. What? So yeah, maybe like one day I will limit myself and I'll be like, today I'm just going to fuck with pitch map. Today I'm only going to use these kinds of samples. Like, I think it's a good exercise. Um, what's a good way to keep things sounding fresh and making an instrumental sound exciting for a singer? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if you're trying to prep something for a singer or, or some songwriters, remember that you're creating a canvas. So you're going to need room. They're going to need room to breathe. So don't overdo it. You know, leave some space for them. Can you play what you made today? Yeah. Didn't really make it today. Didn't really do anything. This is, this is fucking whack, dude. We is this whack? It is whack. It's kind of whack. It's kind of whack. Yeah, kind of weak. I mean, I, here's the other thing. Nowadays when I like, you know, like doing the stream in the morning was, was a different choice because usually it's after my day of work or like, I'm just like, phew, I get to fuck, uh, phew. <laughs> I'm like, phew, <laughs> I get to fuck around now. And I get really high and I do it. And like, uh, it's, and the point of me saying that is that it's at the, it's at, especially with quarantine and everything, like it's at the point now where when I don't feel like inspired, like I don't force it as much these days, you know? Like I'd rather sit here and do a Q and A with you guys than like, try to do something I don't really like, you know, like I liked this last night. I don't really like it right now. Maybe I'll like it later, but it's not giving me that little tickle, you know? Um, oh, there's so many good questions. Do you smoke blunts? Pfft, profound. I do not. I don't want leaked files, not from OnlyFans and not from Ian. <laughs> um, What's your advice on song structure? Um, keep it interesting. Don't give them too inf much information. Rate of information. Where's an example of rich sound? Um, oh. Oh, talking about rich sound. Listen to like uh, Change Clothes by uh, Jay-Z and Frell. Neptune's produced. Like that's when I, that's one of my like Richie Rich songs just sounds classy high class which is more productive for you scheduled sessions or randomly playing around <sighs> hard to answer that it's it changes okay let's just scroll down a little bit catch up when you did back to you do you have to try to make like selena's previous songs like it ain't me it's kind of the same layout as it ain't me yeah it is kind of no wasn't really thinking about it but I just reproduced that song because the demo was so fucking bad. The original producers that did the demo are trash. And their manager is fucking trash, too. <laughs> Anyways, I just reproduced that one. So the song was already cut and the vocals were already done. And um, Oh, wait, no, the vocals weren't done. We had to do the vocals again. Or I had to cut certain parts. I don't remember. So long ago. Whatever. Anyways, uh... But no, I wasn't thinking about previous ones. I mean, obviously, you don't want to go too far. I wish I knew Daft Punk. I don't. Very sad. Um, yeah, Back to You was... I love that song. What a great song. Shout out, Amy Allen. Yeah, that... that Back to You is one of those... Um... Wait, what? Don't start now. Oh yeah, don't start now stems are on there too. Are online. Leaked. 
So please find them if you can. Have fun with them. Um, thoughts on starting with the chorus. You know what, Tyler? Starting with the chorus is like something I don't do naturally, but I have been doing it quite a bit lately. It's kind of fun. It depends on, like, I don't know how it works so well sometimes. Like, I just remember Bieber's Sorry. And I was like, man, they just, like, right off the bat, start with the chorus, right? Is that the right song I'm thinking of? But I always thought that was just so bold. But, you know, usually that's one of those things. Starting a song with the hook is one of those things that I find to happen when, like, you're like, man... I feel like this verse, like, does it need a pre or, or like, is this, is one part too short or like, it's, it's one of those, like when the song just doesn't feel right. It's like, it's one of those things where you, you try starting with like a half chorus and it's like, oh, whoa, it actually helps a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't figured out, that out yet, but it's a very interesting question. Have you tried arcade output? I have tried it. I think it's cool. I, I mean, I'm like, you know, I love chopping loops myself, so it just feels like it's kind of doing what I want to do and have more control over. Um, are longer intros cool now? Interesting question. Maybe. Was Bad Liar always that minimal or did you at some point overproduce and scale it back? Good question. And I f really weird you asked that because the last time I opened the Bad Liar session before sending it to Mix was with um, I was at a writing camp in Las Vegas and Aaron Bayshock himself, who chose that single for Bad Liar, um, he's the president of, what is he, president of Warner now? I don't know what his title is. He's, he's basically the head, the head dude. Um, he came upstairs to the, we, we got speakers sent up to the hotel room because we had to get it sent to mix that night. And it was kind of like, we just happened to both be in Vegas for this camp. So... It was like, it was funny because I was playing the session and I would be like, is this too much? And, and so me and Aaron basically eliminated uh, probably 20% of the production and just was like, is this, is this enough to just leave it? Like the song was so great in both of our opinions that it just didn't need much. And like, I was struggling with that one for a while because it was so open and everything had to be such a deliberate choice. But that is uh, probably the pinnacle of me exercising a minimalist approach to songs, but it definitely got overproduced before the final version. Um, I do limit in the master bus. I have a pretty default um, chain. Mostly, usually it's, don't, don't worry about these, usually it's just OTT and the L2 at very low values. That's free. Like very low values just for fun standard clip for fun and the zulu's uh this uh this guy tape passive tape emulator ott on the master bus question mark 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 yeah um how do you make sure that artists aren't going to steal your song ideas and rip them off when you send them demos to check out? Um, because I know who they are. They know I'm sending it to them. No one does. No, they like, obviously it's going to suck if someone steals something. They're going to be like, you stole that and there's evidence and you know, you, you, no one, no one does that shit. I'm not scared about that shit. Cause they can, I mean, that's how you get put on someone's shit list. It's a very small industry, you know? If you do some shady shit like that, look, you're, you're fucking out, bro. People aren't going to fuck with you. Even if your shit's good, they're going to be like, nah, but that person sucks. Like, no one, I mean, you, if, you have, if you have proof it's your idea, then it would be really dumb of them to do that. All right. Um, okay, fine. So I'm looking for uh, any other questions. 
That's like not getting in a relationship because you're afraid of getting cheated on. Very well put. Yeah, that is what it's like. There was some, some dude hit me up on Discord and was like uh, apprehensive about sending music out because he didn't want to get his ideas stolen and like he was like just starting out and I remember thinking to myself like that is like way putting the heart before the the, the cart before the horse you know like <laughs> I don't know uh, I also like to think that you know like look for instance think about this I'm 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 playing the shit I'm making I'm playing loops of it over and over again uh you know, on my, on my live stream and, you know, someone could easily record that, record a verse to it. And like, I have been sent songs with like weird songs written to things from my stream, but it's like, if any of those things actually went anywhere, it would be obvious. Everybody would be like, oh, you took that. And then there would be problems. You know, it's like, I think, and, and, you know, maybe if, if someone like steals something from me and I didn't know, like, I, I don't know, man. What? I'm not going to fight over crumbs, you know? Lose the battle, win the war. Like, I'm not going to put any energy... Any, I'm All my energy is going into the creation. I'm not going to worry about shitty people and shady-ass people that want to... That have to steal other people's ideas because they're too much of a... <laughs> they suck so much that they can't come up with their own. <laughs> like, like, I'm not, I'm not going to... I, I don't know how much I, I, I care to confront that person because they're pretty fucking pathetic already. And it's like, why do they need me going like, hey, you fucker? I mean, I'll tell them. I would, I would be like, that's lame, dude. But, you know, what are you going to do, man? People are shit. Some people are just dicks. Let them be dicks. They're not going to get far. Don't worry about them. Because just eyes forward, you know? Get out of here. Fuck off. Fucking weirdos. Go steal your ideas. Because you can't have any of your, any of your own. Alright. Lose the war, win the battle, or whatever you said. <laughs> That's the, ah! Sorry. Um. Whoa, weird. Okay. It's actually the opposite. It's lose the battle, win the war, okay? All right. <sighs> Let's have any, any more uh, questions? Hey, let's go over here. Let's go over here. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> uh, when you're in a session, are you always working together on a song where you plug your laptop and work on a section that's such a good question, Senior Pablo one one. Because I've literally thought about bringing two laptops and one, so I can like run the loop and be, and be in my headphones on my rig working on it. While you know, if there's a couple writers in the room, they just want to hear the music, like, because it, it's sometimes when I have ideas, it's difficult to like move forward. So I have to like either write it down or, you know, just play the loop and like remember it in my head or something. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, what else? Make what people want to hear or make weird stuff that you like. Ooh. Why do they have to be mutually exclusive? You can do both, man. Do you use the notes app a lot? <laughs> yeah. How often do the artist session end up nowhere and you discard all the ideas from that session? Eight out of ten times, maybe? Um, more often than not, you'd be surprised. Like, um, I think... So you know how I've been I've been working with Lizzo a lot for the last few months and I think we've written 19 songs. It was 18 or 19 ideas. Can I even consider them songs? Mm, probably like let's see like probably 10 of them are like finished written, you know, there's a rough out like to the label and to her and everyone. And I think we are now it's down to maybe 3 th three songs, four songs now that will probably be on the record. So, you know, 19 ideas, 10 of them full songs, maybe three will make the record. It's just like, 
also for us, it's not like doing, it's, it's not like we failed 19 times. It's like we did something and then we're like, this is dope. This is dope. Let's do more. This is dope. This is dope. Let's do more. This is dope. And like, you know, it's like our own journey kind of figuring out what to do and shit. So it's not like, you know, and all of those ideas aren't full, you know, one of those, they might be like a day or two of work of working on something. So, but yeah. There's a lot of times that shit is discarded. I mean, I, I think I'm too good at discarding ideas. Like I probably have, you know, <laughs> of all the tracks that I've made on the live stream, I'm sure a couple of them I could probably fuck around with and like maybe, you know, do something with some artist for it. But I'm also just like, ah, fuck it. I'll just do something else, which I'm trying to figure out how to be better about that. Man, Bitcoin is raging. 57. What are your thoughts on phone recorded vocals? I love it. I love that. I love weird ways of recording things. I'll, I'll record guitars with the iPhone mic sometimes. Um, Jason Evigan did that at the last camp. It was awesome. Do you pitch the ideas that didn't make it on one label to another artist or label? I don't do that. My manager does that sometimes. Um, but it doesn't work very often. Shit, I really need to go. All right, actually, let's go to one. These are great questions. Um, when are we gonna get a lie like this breakdown? The fuck is that? I hate that my phone vocals always seem to sound better than my. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. No, I didn't produce naked. Regret releasing a song you produced. Like you look at it and cringe at your production. No, never. That's not true. <laughs> uh, yes, maybe once or twice. But also like, no, because it's part of the journey, man. You know? All right. I have to go because fucking... That's pretty neat. You know, it's time. Um, I apologize for this stream being not so much music, but man, it's just... I'm going to try to come back tonight because my session canceled today. Well, I, I... I have to do some other shit. But anyways, um, I'll be back tonight, more than likely. But if not, tomorrow, tomorrow night, um, we're going to do a like live feedback Zoom, Stee and I. And it's going to be fucking fun. Uh, which I don't even know if I should be talking about because I feel like we already have too many songs to go over. But then after that, um, if that, depending on how long that goes, I'll do the following for a friend breakdown afterwards. So that's just going to be fun. But yeah, maybe I'll come back tonight and work more on, on this guy. But I don't know if I, or maybe start something new because I don't know if I really like this guy. <laughs> I'm like not, I'm just not in the, one last thing I'll say before I end the stream is that, you know me, I'm always trying to find generalizations to help, but lately I've been on this wave about whether I'm in the mood to work on a song. I feel like I have mentioned this maybe before, but like right now, like I don't have that like disclosure energy, you know, that I feel like I would need to, to like do something like this, you know, I'm not in the right like mental place, you know, like it's like, you know, like you get your room all dark to work on a sad song or something like you get your lights all red and you know it's like you set the mood like i don't i don't have the mood so i don't want to make decisions right now on this because i'm not in the right mental place for it you know it's i'm not being lazy i'm not copying out but like maybe tonight i'll be a little bit high i'll like kind of you know have gotten some shit done and feel good about what i did today and you know maybe not hate myself that much and want to come online and be in a really like ah shit you know let's do it so I've been thinking a lot about when is the right time to make decisions for certain songs. Okay, that being said, I love you all, and I'll be back tonight. Oh, my chat's all green. That's weird. But, uh, yeah, have a fucking great Thursday. day.